keep the train rolling. Choo choo! What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Cast and Conquer. I am Andrew Walker and I'm in the boat with two musky hungry lads today and we're gonna get after them. It's been a while since I've had a musky video on the channel but I said you know what? Screw it. Screw all those people watching my spots. I'm gonna give you guys what you want and we're gonna be chasing muskies for two days with these guys and hopefully get on some absolute giants. We've had some really good fishing over the last couple days. Big fish have been showing up. The water is 56 degrees. Fall is here and the big ones are biting. So we're gonna be starting on a weedy spot, casting really shallow. Fish have been extremely shallow lately. We're gonna be throwing blades, suics, big rubbers, maybe a little bit of top waters today. And most of all, we're gonna be getting some big muskies. So without further ado, let's get the rods and reels ready. Let's get those baits on. Let's get after them. Let's go boys, let's go. Oh yeah, yep. Come here, guy. Stinky one. Stinky dinky. Stinky dinks. On the blades, that's a good sign. Guys are starting on blades. I'm gonna be starting on this bulldog. Pretty crazy color, it's like a fleck, blue, red, black back, red tail. It's a shallow one, two ounce weight underneath, give it that real nice head dive. We're fishing that with 130 pound fluoro leader, 90 pound barbarian braid. And of course, you can get both barbarian and bulldogs and these wonderful chaos rods that I use at Figure 8 Musky Shop, the only place that I do my musky shopping. And I'll leave a code down below in the description for 10% off. For any of you that are still buying stuff this fall, you can see there's still pretty high weed, seven feet of water. I'm gonna rip rubber. These guys are gonna throw blades. And we are started. That'll work. Coffee tubes is a thing for bass, so why wouldn't coffee pounders be a thing for musky? Casting like the Magnum pounders is like, I don't know. You just have so much more confidence that when it gets bit, it's gonna be absolutely giant fish. Oh my god, it scared me. 500s. Oh. No one. Coming around. Yep. Hit me so weird. I was at the top of my stroke. First one of the day, I was just saying I wanted to catch a fish on that big purple pounder. There it is. From the musky shop, like I said, they carry a variety of different colors. And we got this guy. I had missed a fish on it a couple weeks ago and it just shredded me. And uh, I made an actually pretty poopy cast. <laughs> and uh, the bait landed about halfway where I wanted it to go. Ripping it back to the boat. Got a nice fall fatty. Not super long, but I'd say like low 40s, maybe 42, 43. Nice big head on her. This water's really cold. So these fish are bulking up for fall. That's a beauty. Wicked fish. Good way to start the two days. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get her back. It's a nice heavy fish. And just like that, she's gone. Gotta love that cold water. Let's get another one. Time for the boys, I think. All right guys, so we're gonna take a break from casting. We've only had that pike right off the bat before cameras are even rolling. Saw that one musky. We are gonna go to trolling a little bit deeper. We're gonna run a purple DK, black and orange DK, 
And this baby's caught so many fish, jointed perch. You can see the hook rash. She's been chewed. And uh, we're gonna troll off the weed edges, 15 to 17 feet, two and a half to three and a half miles an hour. Just slow rolling these baits. And we're gonna be running those on the Chaos Tackle Assault Sticks, the best trolling rods. Also available at Figure 8 Muskie Shop. Code below. We're gonna get a big one, I think. Trolling has been hot, and this purple bait has caught a lot of big fish. Today, I think she's gonna get eaten. Let's get it. Done. As you saw in the trolling clip, we ended up picking up this BR bait. Pretty sure it's a super tanker. So we put some new hooks, new split rings. We gave it a little bit of a shine with a towel I had in the boat and it looks really awesome. So we're gonna clip her on. We're trolling right now still, haven't had any rips other than this lure. And we're hoping that we can keep the tradition going with this beauty and maybe hook a big one. I think it's gonna pull like crazy, big aluminum lip. So let's see what she does. All right, we're up at the dam, boys and girls. I'm just hitting spots, looking for fish. I got a SJR rubber on, jigging on the live scope. We got the boys casting tubes and a shallow invader. We're going to get one here. Oh, airborne. Big fish suspended. Oh, he's chasing me. Got him. He's chasing me. It's a muskie for sure. It's a muskie for sure. He's right on me. He came from in front of the boat and he was 10 feet down, just suspended. I don't know if he had just like followed somebody in late or... That was, no. that was for, yeah, he's not there anymore. That was for sure a muskie. I could like see him. Can I see that brown one? <laughs> I'm gonna catch one on it. That used to be my favorite color, a red October. Oh, I missed one, missed one. He hit me. I watched him race up and eat it, man, and I missed him. He just completely slacklined me on the upstroke. That was so sick. Like, where did he go? Did it leave any marks on it? I didn't check. Was it brand, brand new? Yeah, never been bit, so I'm curious. <laughs> wow, how'd it miss? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> Mic drop, I mean, rod drop. Last spot of the day. Sunset fish. Oh, it'll happen. Oh, a clam. Big winner. Big summer blowout. Big summer blowout. Yep, yep. I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's coming back. I gotta let you go out away from the boat. <sighs> nice, nice. Way to go. I told you the tube. I told you the First tube. First fish on the tube. Not a giant, but a fatty. Yeah, he is fat. Hmm. Hey, we'll take him. You're fucking I'm like, okay, right here. It's not the longest fish, but she is a fatty. That is a beautiful Beautiful muskie, Ottawa River. Day one or two, second fish of the day. Awesome fish, man. Thank you. Bye. She's gone. She's gone. Nope. There she goes. Now she's gone. You know, I'm time. We got like 10 minutes left. We're only halfway through the spot. We still haven't got to the best part of it. Oh yeah. Big one. 
button off if you can? No, not you, not you with the button. Oh, big one, never mind. Another small one. No, no. Two tube fish! Good shit. Third fish of the day, three for four now. Day turned around. And it's all because of that miner. It started 15 minutes ago and we started this spot. And bang, bang, two fish in the bag. Good way Hefty. To Hefty fish. Oh, got they a nice all gut. have really good girth today. Yeah. Not the longest, but we'll take it, man. Happy. That's it, boys. That was a good way to end. That was a very good way to end. Dan's like, he's like, all I caught all day was a clam. I didn't even catch that. No, a feather, a no, feather. It was a feather. It was a feather. It is the morning of day two, guys. Woke up bright and early. We have a beautiful day today. Like I said yesterday, we ended up going three for four. Really good day. And uh, we are starting off where we finished last night, hoping we missed a few fish. And uh, we have optimal conditions all day. We're gonna throw again top waters, rise and dives, rubbers, blades. And we're looking to get on PBs for the boys. Yesterday was a little warm up. Today, we're hoping to get some big fish. So let's go. Day two, let's get let's it. Go. Dude, a lot of fish that I catch on tubes are like, cause I'm always doing like side, side, up, and then I'll do like a pop, pop, that doubles hit, gets them almost every time. That's really good to Because they'll be following in, and it'll be like one jump, one jump to the side, and one jump, and then it'll go boom, boom, and, and that's, that's when he's like, bam. The, uh... I usually do it like, do it about halfway through my retrieve. I'll work it in. Don't catch the feather. You didn't catch anything yesterday after the feather. Blah, 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 blah. Starting with the top waters. Boys are both on tubes. It is a wicked, wicked mid-October day. Hey, can you quiet down? We're trying to fish. I can barely hear my lure. Planing or something. Leaf blowing. Yeah, like it's a weekday. Keep that for the weekend when everybody else is doing it. Oh, he's got a boat. Full wind up, too. Hooks up, too, behind. Yep, I got one. Oh, catfish. <laughs> Channel cat. Nice chunker. Yeah. On a tube. Lynched it. Good eating fish, though. It would be a good eating fish. It's our lucky day, though. She's going back today. Bye. All right, right after moving two fish, came down to a spot that we know that there was a big fish yesterday. We got a nice little fatty, chewed the tube out on the cast. There's definitely something big in his belly because look at that, that is a chunk. Really nice healthy fish, high 30s, probably 38 or so. And uh, let's get her back and keep going because we just, just started this spot, but right in the mainer. Right in the miner. The miner. Right in the miner. Bading bading boy. Miner just started and uh, first fish of the day. Man, she's got. Like that's a that's a 
big belly. Wonder what she's got. I don't know. It's hard. Bye, girl. Nice. Nice. Let's keep it going. Got to keep the train rolling. Choo choo. Choo choo. Dude, I thought it was so much bigger yeah, when well, the I saw its head shape. When the head came out, I was like, it's a high 40. One. Why is she freaking out so crazy? Okay, somebody else can have this color. She's crazy. Is that tube looking like hamburger meat yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hamburger meat. All right guys, so still haven't got through the spot. Two fish back to back, both about the same size. Coming on these red October tubes. Absolutely chewed up now. She's taking a beating. She's had uh, four, four fish yeah, four in fish. two days. Yeah. Beauty little guy. Nice little fish, probably around 35, 36. Still not what we're looking for, but they'll do. They are absolutely beautiful, this emerald green. Cold water, they're gonna take right off. Bye bye. Back to it. Got him. Got him. Big. Uh, bigger. The color doesn't matter. All right. Dude, he came right out of the water and ate it out in the air. I saw that. It was crazy. It's like we can't make it 100 yards. I gave away the tube I was using back to Tyler. I made a switch to this brown color and uh, Went another hundred yards and got chewed again. We're all on tubes now. Probably close to 40 incher. Nice fish. Chunky monkey. She had that one hook pretty deep in her jaw, but not in the gills. She was bleeding quite a bit, but we're gonna get her back quick here. She should take off super fast. Three for five on the day. I'd be close to 40. See you, girl. Bye, beautiful. Back to it, back to it. You guys are doing a lot of side sweeps, which hops it like this. And I'm doing up sweeps, which hops it more like this. Like, I'm up sweeping, reeling, up sweeping, reeling, and it's like really tight hops, and I'm never getting depth. Where a side sweep, you're staying always at that depth. And like, if you're just above the weeds, by the time you start doing it, you're gonna get weeds on your way back, which might make a fish not want to bite as much, you know, it's true. Like when I'm casting, I stop my line to tighten it, and I'm jerking within like, not even a second of it hitting the water. Like, so it doesn't sink at all. First half of my cast, I'm going pretty quick to keep it above. Then when I get about halfway to the boat, I slow it down, because I know the weeds are closer to the bottom. All right guys, so we've had those three fish in probably half an hour, 40 minutes, maybe a hundred meters apart. We're just working a weed line, casting right up to an edge of reeds. And we're just all ripping these tubes back. We wanted a little bit smaller of a profile and the water wolves to have our 11 inch. So we downsized to these red Octobers in nine inch and they are absolutely getting chewed. Just working them super quickly over top of the weeds so that we don't fall down and get all fouled up with weeds and the muskies are just smacking them on that descent and you just go to reel up your slack to do another pump. Boom, fish on. We're gonna continue going on this weed bed. We've probably got a third of the way through it. I'm suspecting we're gonna see a bunch more fish here in Minor and on this spot.
like I said, we know that there's a big one living here, so we're hoping to encounter her in the next couple hundred meters. Stick with us, it's not over. We're only halfway through the day. Third fish of the day, three for five, and a catfish. It's turned out to be a pretty wicked day. Let's get back to it. All right, back to it, back to it. Oh yeah, keep jerking it, keep jerking it, keep jerking it. That was a big fish. So crazy because yesterday we didn't even move a fish here. We moved four. Get it. Let's get one. Oh, that's a giant. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That was the fish Darian saw yesterday. That was a 50. That was a giant. Oh my God, that was big. Uh, I think he spooked because of the weed that was on your line. It was so big. Its back was like two of my hands. The inside of my arm, my bicep, is so raw from yeah. pumping rubber for two days. Yeah, I feel that. Oh. that looks big. That looks bigger. That's big. Took you into the water. Dude, he pulled me right off my seat and crushed my energy drink. Got him! Big fish. Chomping. Just started the spot. All right, guys. Got to the spot that we hammered a few this morning. Got back going after Dan's big fish that he saw. And uh, we're nowhere close to where Dan's fish was, but we smoked a fatty. He ate it both sides, almost pulled me right out of the boat. A chonker. First one we're gonna bump of the day of the weekend. 49 and a quarter. 49 and a quarter. Nice fish. That's a fatty. That's if we don't get another fish today, that is definitely a good way to end it. Not a 50, but an absolute tank. Half an inch, doesn't really matter to me. Let's get her back on this side. All right, going back, big girl. Look at the belly on that thing. Like, that is a big tank of a fish. We're gonna give her a second before she goes. That is a big back. Beauty fish, man. Such a good fish. It's about the same size as the one that Dan missed on the spot before this. Oh, well, he didn't miss it. The fish just freaked out because of a weed, but. Go ahead, girl. See you later, alligator. We'll watch her, but water's cold. She's gonna go down, quick fight. See you later, alligator. In a while, musky lunge. Measured her on the figure eight musky shop board. You guys can get yours down below. The code is there and save 10%. Look at all the poop on there. <laughs> Let's get back to fishing. Back at it. Four for eight. Doesn't matter the color I fish, as long as it's a tube, they're gonna eat it. You were using brown this morning and I was using black and I switched you for the black. Now I've caught nothing on black and you've got two on gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, because it's not like I'm throwing tubes and catching them and everybody else is throwing different stuff. No, no, no. We're all throwing tubes. <laughs> we're all throwing tubes. I'm in the back of the boat. For some reason, they're just drawn to me.
Keep the chain rolling. Choo-choo! <laughs>